Hey, what's going on guys? It's Anton. So we're back with a brand new video and we're going to talk about authentication. So authentication is the process of identifying an HTTP request that was created by a user slash client. And it's pretty obvious on why you would want to authenticate users. But the main point is to be able to identify who is making requests to your application, who's using it. So for example, let's say if we're making a login request, the server is going to have to identify the credentials and verify that the credentials that the user sent is actually valid. So if they enter the correct username and password, then we're going to say, hey, look, you have successfully authenticated yourself. So we're going to grant you access to the rest of the application. So the method that we're going to be using is called single factor authentication, where we're going to enter a username and password. And then we're going to verify those credentials on the server side by checking the database. And if the records are correct, then we're going to give them access to the application. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and actually install two modules. So we're going to install Passport and Passport Local. So Passport itself is an authentication middleware that allows us to handle everything that's to do with authentication. And it also takes care of saving sessions into the request object. So we don't have to implement our own sessions. So it actually does a lot of things for you, which is very, very awesome. And Passport Local itself is the strategy that we're using to authenticate users. So in our case, since we are having the user enter in a user and password, then we are going to use the local strategy. Now there are actually a bunch of different strategies that you can look through on Passport JS. Let's say if you wanted to implement OAuth2 authentication with Facebook or Google, they have strategies for that as well. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and just run my app. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file called auth.js, and this is just going to be a router that's going to set up any route that has to deal with authentication. So module.exports equals, whoops, it's router. So we're just creating a new router right now. And then we're going to set up a post request for this router to handle. And this router is just going to be slash auth slash login. And we're going to have to import passport. And we're going to just pass in a function called passport.authenticate. And the strategy is going to be local. And then the last parameter is just going to be the final callback function, which is the request handler. And we're just going to send back a 200 status code. So we're just going to have to import auth route. And then we're gonna go down here and just register it with slash auth. So when we make a post request, it's going to go to slash auth slash login. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a strategy. So I'm gonna create a new folder called strategies, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a file called local.js. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and import local strategy inside local.js so that's going to import passport local and then we're going to import passport and now we're going to call passport.use new local strategy so we're just basically calling the dot use function and we're going to create a new instance of local strategy and inside this new instance we're going to pass in a function which is going to be an asynchronous function and it's going to take in three parameters the username and password so that's from the request body and it's going to take in done which is going to be a function that we're going to invoke after we are done with checking the user so inside this function over here we want to handle all of the logic that has to do with authenticating users so we need to actually call our database so we're going to import our database we're going to have to search the database so we're going to query. So I'm going to select all columns from users where username is equal. So I have to quote this username. So this is going to search the database for a record that matches the username that was sent from the client. And what we're going to do is we're just going to console log result for now. All right. So now let's go ahead and import passport. And then let's import our local strategy. And the final thing that we need to do to get Passport to work is we need to call app.use passport.initialize and then app.use passport.session. So this is all you need to do to get Passport to work. So now, uh, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I just realized I passed in router with parentheses. Okay, there we go. We're going to go to Postman. Okay, and what we're going to do next is we're going to call slash auth slash login. So now you can see right over here that our record is actually found in the database. So it's right over here in this array. So I'm going to have to go ahead and get that. So do this. All right, so since this result is going to be an array of arrays, we're just going to go ahead and check to see if result at subscript zero dot length. Okay, so that's going to reference this 
array over here. So if the length of this is equal to zero, that means the user was not found. So we're gonna handle this case first by just calling done. We're gonna pass in null because we don't have any errors. And we're gonna pass in false. So that, be, that, so that basically means that the user was not found. Okay, so now if the user is found, the next thing that we need to do is we need to compare the password. So we need to compare this password that's from the database. So if result subscript zero password is equal to password. So if this is true, then we're going to call done null result subscript zero. So result subscript zero is the actual user record. And if the passwords are not the same, then we are simply going to just call done pass and null false. Basically, if the user was not found in the database, then that means we're just going to call done pass and null and false. If the user was found and the password matches, we're going to pass in null for the error and then result subscript zero is going to be the user. So that's what we're passing in. So this first parameter itself is actually the error object. So we should actually try catch this because an error could happen. And if any error happens, we're just going to pass in error and then false. Okay, but since no errors are happening, we're gonna pass in null and then we're gonna pass in the user object if the user actually entered the correct password. Now, finally, we're going to need two functions passport.serialize user and then we're going to need passport.deserialize user so these functions are going to be responsible for serializing and deserializing the user into a session so whenever a request is being made there's no information except for the cookie and what is going to happen is it's going to take the cookie and it's going to check to see which user that cookie belongs to and it's going to take that and it's going to take that user and it's going to serialize it back in to the actual session so that's how it's going to maintain the whole user session this is why passport itself is very powerful so we need these two functions so from here all we're going to do is we're going to call done null and we're just going to pass in user dot username okay so this is the user object itself and i should actually name this username because that's going to be our unique identifier and then inside the serialized user what we want to do is we want to search the database for a user by the username this should be result at subscript zero subscript zero because result subscript zero is the array of text for objects but to actually get that individual record we have to reference subscript zero okay so up here we're just going to check to see if result subscript zero subscript zero is truthy and if it is, we're going to call done and then we're going to pass in result at subscript zero subscript. Zero. And of course, we're going to wrap this inside a try catch. If any error happens, we're going to pass in null error. And null. OK, so that should be it. So you can see that it was actually working, uh, but it said unauthorized. So you can see now we have actually successfully logged in. And you can see that we actually have a cookie. So now I can actually access different parts of my application. So let me actually show you something for in this video. So let's just say, for example, for this route, let's say I want to protect this slash users route. So now what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to check to see if rec.user exists. So basically what that means is the user session actually exists and I'll log it too. So if that's true, that means the user session exists, then we're going to give them the records. If it doesn't, then we're just going to say res.status403. So now if I go to slash users, it's going to tell me not authenticated because we just restarted our server. So whenever we restart our server, it's going to reset everything. That's why it's saying we're not authenticated. But if I go ahead and if I log in first, you're going to see a cookie was returned and this cookie correlates to our user session. So now we're going to get all users and you're going to see that it should say, yep, status 200 using password. And if I go to the console, I think this is, I think this is a rectal user. I think this is what it is. Text row. Yep. Okay, there you go. Oh, our cookie is pretty, uh, pretty short term. Let's try again. So auth slash login. All right, let's go ahead and get all users. Okay, there you go. Request made to users route. Okay, so our cookie expired, so that's why I didn't do anything. But you can see that rec.user corresponds to the user that's in the database. So hopefully this video made sense and hopefully this showed you guys how to set up Passport.js for local strategy. In future videos, we're going to set up other 
authentication strategies. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.